Hi there, my name is Meng. I'm from Design Plus Code, and I'm really excited to bring you this Webflow course that's going to teach you about creating a full site with a huge landing page that has a ton of content that is fully adaptive to mobile, tablet, and that is deployed online for your audience. So let's take a look at the interaction. So for example, we're using this really nice skew technique that gives a fantastic 3D effect. So I can switch between the devices like this using a fully customized menu that is basically using the tabs component. And then we're going to learn a lot about transitions, states, flex layout, grid layout, so that you can implement any design that you wish. And here we have a lot of animations that is following the scroll. So as you scroll, the Lottie animation, which is created in After Effects, can play based on the scroll progress. We're also going to learn some really nice parallax techniques. So as I scroll, then we have multiple elements moving at different speed. And here, using their CMS, I can enter data, which can be found right here. Now I have compositions, I have FAQ and testimonials, and this data is automatically populated in the website using the collections. And here you can see that I have a collection list and I can just populate based on the CMS data. Going back to the website, I'm also going to show you how to use different components, such as this one, which is a light box component which allows you to have multiple images that can be browsable. And this requires absolutely no code. You just need to customize the content itself. And this control is provided for free. Next, we're going to learn how to use basic custom code, such as these tweets from the Twitter API, which is basically copy and pasting the embed code. And then we're using more of the data, such as for these testimonials as well as FAQ. We're going to learn how to create a footer, how to create a navigation so that we can browse multiple pages such as the mockups page, basically reusing the same symbols that we have created previously. And like this, we have consistent elements that are shared across multiple pages for the FAQ for the CTA as well as for these testimonials. Then we're gonna learn about forms, such as for the login page or for a little component for subscribing to the newsletter. And finally, we're gonna learn a little bit about e-commerce. So you can put a purchase button where the user can click here, go to the checkout experience, and you'll see in the e-commerce feature that you have a bunch of products and then you can set up the payments, the price, the shipping, and essentially set up an entire website with multiple pages, login, newsletter, purchase, and make all of this completely adaptive to the mobile experience so that you can preview right here and have the content and the menu fully adaptive. So as you can imagine, this course is absolutely packed. And best of all, you won't have to write a single line of code. I think a lot of designers are going to enjoy this because we're using CSS techniques that have matured over the past decades. So we're not reinventing the wheel. We're using the same flexbox techniques. So for this, for example, which is using flexbox, you can also use grid if you want to, and you can have all the same CSS properties that you are familiar in terms of positioning, sizes, fonts, and transforms, as well as shadows, transitions, filters. In fact, as a designer who has been using CSS for about 15 years, I was learning new techniques because everything you do is so visual the results are in real time. So when you change something, then you can see if there are problems with the layout. So this course is for both people who have a lot of coding experience or who has zero coding experience because essentially it removes the barrier of code. And I included the design files. So here is the sketch design and everything was prepared in advance. And you can use this as a template 
for your own custom design. On top of that, regardless of how much experience that you have as a designer or as a developer, I'm going to explain all the decisions that I made for this whole site, which is going to be launched, by the way, as a real website for a real product called Angle, which is a huge library of devices in full vector. And we have a sketch plugin. So essentially we're building a landing page that will convince people, hopefully, to want to buy this product. And as someone who's been designing hundreds of landing pages in my career, I'm going to give you a lot of the tricks that I have picked up so that you can learn not just how to use Webflow and how to implement your own design, but also how to create a high converting page that can really help your own business or your own product idea. This course is entirely free, by the way. So if you want to share it to your friends, feel free to do so without any obligation on their part to sign up or purchase anything. They can just take the course, download all of the assets, such as the sketch files, the SVG files, the Lottie files, thanks to Webflow, who has sponsored my time for a month into creating this super comprehensive course. In terms of requirements, all you need is a browser because Webflow works both in Windows and Mac. The only part that requires a Mac is Sketch, which is not necessary for the course because all the assets are provided. For those who want a little bit more customizations, all of these icons and illustrations as well as animations were taken from Shape.so where you can browse thousands of icons and illustrations as well as animations. So you can just download the file and just replace so that you can have a completely custom design as you follow along the course. As I'm teaching a lot of really cool techniques, the best thing is to use your own design, to use your own assets and create something that is truly worth sharing to your clients, to your coworkers, as well as on Twitter. I can't wait to see what you're gonna come up with. All the links to the live site, as well as to each section of the course as you progress will be provided. And as well for the tools that I'm using, such as Sketch, Shape.so, and the assets. So let's get started in the next session.